This is a special edition of NBC10 at issue with Philadelphia Republican mayoral candidate Karen Brown. Back on NBC10 at issue with Republican candidate for mayor Karen Brown. During this campaign, your cars have been vandalized. What happened there? <laughs> well, it started out with the tires being sliced, and I guess they figured that wasn't deterring me. So my car was key, the back window was broke, the mirrors were broke. And if that wasn't enough, they acided both my car and my husband's. My and husband's worse than mine. Any idea who did it? No. I just know that every day I wake up, it's a surprise. In fact, we just I just fixed my tire again yesterday because it was sliced again. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you before? No. This has been a new experience, and uh, when this is all over, my caddy's not that old, but I think I'm going to trade it in. <laughs> <laughs> You've had other things happen to you and your family over the years. As you said, you were a single mom raising your kids, working two or three jobs, you told me the other day, to, to get them through college. But you've had financial problems, gas bills that were unpaid, you had to file for bankruptcy, your husband now, um, of now had uh, serious health problems and others. Do you think sometimes, do you ever wake up and say, boy, stuff just happens to me? No, because I think it happens to everyone. I, I, I don't know anybody in this economy that hasn't had some kind of either health issue or financial issue. I think that's being normal. If, if you haven't experienced it, God bless you, because you're very lucky. Because I, I think that's far and few in between. Because I think most... you learn anything from that, from all this? I, I think it makes you stronger. Because I think when you get knocked down, and you, you don't have the time to say, oh, well, woe is me. I had three kids. You know, I had to get back up and I had to fight through it. You had a couple city government jobs, um, courts and then uh, with the city commissioner's office. Were fired from that city commissioner's job? You fired a law, uh, filed a lawsuit against them charging discrimination. You believe you were caught up in politics, correct? Is that a correct assessment? Well, I got, actually what happened was I actually got hurt on the job and their doctors put me out on a workman's comp claim and then the Marge who didn't want me there in the first place because we uh, did not see eye to eye in politics. Marge Tartaglione. Yes. Yeah. She uh, literally stopped the workman's comp. I don't even know how you do that but she did. And I had to fight them to get my workman's comp benefits until finally they were exhausted and I was able to go back to work. But You she, sued but then you dropped that lawsuit. I did. Yeah, they had fired me during the whole suit, and I just let it go. I just let the thing just fall apart because it wasn't worth it to me. I, if you're, you know, to me, it, I can get a job anywhere. I didn't need to fight for this one. Quick question: Are there any GOP presidential hopefuls you like? I like Romney. I really do. He reminds me of a Kennedy, young Kennedy, and he has that look about him, and I think it's going to take him over the top. All right. We'll continue our discussion in a moment. We're halfway through our special edition of NBC10 at issue. I'm Steve Highsmith. Thank you for joining us on NBC10. Our interview with Karen Brown continues for one more half hour on NBC Philadelphia nonstop. Uh, among our topics still to come, schools in the city. So turn to Comcast Channel 248 or Verizon Channel 460 or over the air at 10.2. And next Tuesday at 7 p.m. on NBC10, independent candidate Waleed Diop Rahman will be our guest on another special edition of NBC10 at Issue. He'll be answering your questions and mine. So send your questions via Twitter, hashtag tweet Rahman, or on Facebook.com slash NBC Philadelphia. We can